What's good, my vicious nation? Yes, sir. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Let me know in the chat, and I'm back with another video. And this is gonna be a short video today, so I'm gonna get straight into it. If you guys, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and join my Discord, uh, so that way you know you can be notified whenever I upload a video on any one of those platforms. Uh, links will be down below in the description box um, so in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, the saint buff and I'm actually going to be showing you guys a video from the from one of the devs at uh, high res for real company you know this is a a quick video you know, and he's going to be talking about the saint buff that's going to be coming and all right so let's listen up what's going on everybody today we're talking about saint let's get after it Ooh, first time this one is going to blow your mind. I hope you're ready. At the start of Season 1, I'm Saint ready. will be receiving a new lethal gadget, and based on community feedback, one of his guns have been completely redesigned. Let's start with the really? gadget. Saint will no longer have access to trip mines. In fact, trip mines are going to be temporarily retired from Rogue Company. Instead, okay. Saint will now have access to C4. Through our testing, we have found yes. that this has made Saint love even it. better. Now he's able to hold objectives by himself and provide better support for the team. Now, okay. here's the big one. Ever since Rogue Company entered closed beta, I've always gotten feedback that was, Scott, could you please, for the love of God, just remove the scope from the Mark IV? This gun would be so good if it didn't have a scope. Well, it took the team a little bit of rebalancing and a little Juicy bit of part. retooling, but I'm happy to announce with the start of Season 1, the Mark IV will no longer be scoped. This means when you aim, you will have the aim over shoulder view versus the scope. Yes! This has yes. been such a game changer. Yes! Though. A no more scope for us that Saint no more scope now played in almost every single one of our let's go because he just feels so different what i always want to know is what do you all think about these changes do you think saint can't is wait now to try one it. the better supports in the game do you think you're gonna best play saint yeah bro bro you ha you have to as take out the scope off that gun bro the, bro way, that gun is going to be broken now that gun is going to be so good always, oh my god can't wait to, to to give you guys some gameplay on on, on the the buff saint but all right now there will be a new game mode called countdown uh this brings a new mode that that requires flexibility as your team attempts to control the bomb and prevent your opponents from defeating you each match is best of five teams begin each round with 90 tickets for each second you hold the bomb the other team loses a ticket there's there are respawns similar to strikeout the shot will be available at the end of each round the bomb will be carried as an object all right so that is the new game mode countdown the new game mode that will be coming soon it's not out yet but it's coming soon phantom so phantom uh they're gonna uh, they fix the issue where the night of smoke uh would be thrown instantly the eight three salvo changed they changed it from a single shot to a two shot burst uh head head damage so they basically buffed this oh yeah this gun is insane now uh head head damage uh increased from 20 to 24 per shot the body damage increased from 13 to 19 which is huge look at the gap from that oh my gosh man the fire rate has been increased from 3.03 to 3.92. Okay, that is huge, man. Big buff to that weapon. That is Scorch's pistol. By the way, I don't think anybody else has that pistol in the game. I think that's the Scorch exclusive pistol. Um, um, but, you know, they probably will add some somebody else with that gun. But uh, the revolver from Dallas, they increased the maximum damage fall off. Uh, they are uh, the P the P12. They increase the magazine size from seven to eight. Uh, level two upgrade increases the mag size from twelve to fourteen. Um, the tier sniper has been nerfed again. Okay, they nerfed it again. The weapon range has been reduced from seventy. It was infinite at first when he first came out. Infinite range, just like uh, um, Phantom. Now it went to 70. Now it's going to 40. Yes, you heard it. 
40 meters on a sniper rifle. A sniper is only going to have 40 meters of range. Does that sound right to y'all? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Now, this is almost comparable to AR's range. I know from my life experiences that snipers in general, I don't care what sniper it is, it ain't supposed to be next to no AR range. That's the whole point of it being a sniper. Like, I disagree with this. Like, people can come for me in the comments, but I disagree with this completely. I disagree with this. Why would you put a sniper that have 40, 40 meters of range? That is ridiculous. That is honestly ridiculous. Uh, 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 flashbang, uh, the flash duration reduced from 3.5 seconds to 3 seconds. Tear gas grenade increased the strength of the gas distant orientation effect, okay. They, they buffed the tear gas a little bit, you know, all right. Um, oh yeah, big one, big one. Okay, so they changed cloak. They they, re they remade cloak, basically. Uh, it no longer re um, provides reveal immunity. It doesn't no longer just immune uh, against uh, per persistent reveals. And the sticky sensor, the nano smoke will always reveal the players, all right. Uh, cloaked uh, will reduce the duration of uh, Dallas tracker rounds by 50%. Uh, and this change does not impact on answer. Okay, Th these changes don't apply to you, so you still get immunity. Anyway, um, that's because she's you know a flank character, so makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Um, it's really a uh, bounce back. Uh, bounce back uh, was uh, previously they reduced the time it took uh, for help generation to start by two seconds. An additional, uh, in addition to reducing what time bounce back will now give players 30 health per second instead of 20 okay so they both bounce back great good 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 the, over the overall time to reach max health will be significantly shorter great the glacier map uh the bomb can no longer be thrown through walls uh this, this is a bugs uh they can no, no longer be thrown through walls uh below the crane on the attacker spawn island on, on spawn side uh they fix te texture issues on the mass of the ship uh they fix a co collision issue where the camera would clip through the ship's hole near the zip lines on the bo on both sides of the map. I just want to cover some changes real quick and uh, let you guys know that it will be a buff to Saint. So if you guys found this video helpful, uh, which I hope you did, uh, make sure to share with a friend and um, also uh, uh, make sure to drop a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel for more content, more bangers. And uh, oh, make sure to go check out my my two most recent videos as well uh, at the end of this video. And uh, love you all. Stay blessed. And thank you guys for watching the video. Want to watch another banger? Click one of the two videos shown on screen right now.